when we're talking about roles with regard to deep brain stimulation, um, not just in the operating room, I've sort of described that, but, but also the before and after I is, is extraordinarily important because the operation that happens in the operating room uh, is only about 50% of the determinant of whether or not it's a success because other aspects of the process are critically important to success as well that don't happen in the operating room. For example, um, the neurologists in general are the ones who identify the patients who are most likely to benefit from deep brain stimulation. So they identify the surgical candidate and refer them to our multidisciplinary, what we call fast track program, uh, where uh, the patient sees you know, eight to ten various special Parkinson specialists from different areas of expertise. You know, of course, neurosurgery and neurology, but also neuropsychiatry. I'm sorry, neuropsychology, psychiatry, uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, the the communication disorders and swallowing experts, um, and and others. And we all look at the patient from our own perspective, and we're all asking the same question. You know what does this patient stand to gain from deep brain stimulation or what's the what's the potential benefit and what's our assessment of this patient's risk and does it add up and does it make sense um, uh, and not only that but we collectively will make a decision about not only whether this patient should have deep brain stimulation surgery but what type of deep brain stimulation surgery we can tailor the operation to the situation of a given patient, which we think actually is critically important to optimizing the outcomes. Um, you know, you can stimulate in different targets. Uh, different targets uh, are better for treating various symptoms. Some targets are better for avoiding uh, certain risks that we think are high for a given patient, for example. Um, so, so that's a multidisciplinary aspect of deep brain stimulation. Uh, the neurologist is a gatekeeper sort of sends the patient into the process. We have everybody look at the patient. Patient goes home after they've met all these people in two days. We all get together and talk about the patient behind their back and uh, uh, try to come to some, come some consensus about uh, surgical decision making, which is very helpful to me. Um, we do the operation like we described in the operating room. And then um, while I'm managing things like the, the wound, you know, the surgical incisions and making sure they're, making sure they're healing well. Um, the neurologists, for the most part, are responsible for what I consider one of the hardest parts of all of this, which is programming the devices and adjusting the medications and, and uh, that iterative process that really um, is critical to making sure that a good surgery results in excellent uh, quality of life.